This video explains how to apply the which function to subset a data frame conditionally. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame object is appearing at the top right, which is called data. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains six rows and the three columns x1, x2 and x3. Now let's assume that we want to create a subset of this data frame using the which function. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line seven. So in this line of code, I'm applying the which function to create a logical condition which says that I only want to keep those values where the column x1 is greater or equal to the value 3. And then I'm applying the which function within square brackets to subset our original data frame. And I'm also assigning the output of this to a new data frame object that I'm calling data new1. So after running line seven of the code, a new data frame object called data new one is appearing at the top right. And if we print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console, you can see that we have removed all those rows from our input data frame where the column X1 was containing values smaller than three. So in this case, we have created a subset containing only four of the original six rows. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the which function to specify only one logical condition. However, we can also specify multiple logical conditions within the which function, as you can see in lines 10 and 11 of the code. So once again, I'm specifying the name of our data set, then I'm using square brackets, and then I'm applying the which function. However, this time I'm using the end operator to specify a second logical condition. So in this case, the second logical condition extracts only those rows where the column X2 contains a value that is equal to the character A, C or E. So after running lines 10 and 11 of the code, another data set called data new2 is appearing at the top right and we can print this data set to the RStudio console as well. And then you can see that we have extracted certain rows from our data frame based on multiple logical conditions using the which function. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.